Hello Pisces, beautiful Pisces. So I've been talking about you guys all week because I've been talking about Venus in Pisces and so I feel like every reading I've been talking about Pisces, Pisces, Pisces and finally I get to Pisces which is really fantastic. Now first we're going to, we are going to talk about Venus being in your sign and Venus is considered a benefic energy. It's the planet that rules love, money, creativity, art, all of that sort of stuff. So it's a beautiful energy to be in your sign and I, I'm hoping that this is bringing you some some nice energies, some um, ease, <laughs> some harmony that comes through. But we're going to talk about the full moon in Leo first because that's kind of happening this week and that's going to be affecting this reading, um, big energy coming in. Uh, we have the spider. So speaking of creativity, the spider is very, very creative. It builds its web and it builds this web with no expectation. I'm just building this thing. I know how to do it. And it's this beautiful, delicate thing, And but it's very, very strong at the same time. So you might also be the spiders are very sensitive to be what's happening in, on its web. As soon as like something lands on its web, it's like it knows, it feels the vibration. So it may be that through this full moon in Leo, you might be feeling really, really sensitive to other people, other vibrations, and just feeling this a lot. So it could be, you know, the web connects you to other people. Quite literally, it could be the internet, but it's uh, a sense of who is around that you're feeling. So that's something that's coming in. The spider can also represent feeling trapped in a web so but I'm not feeling that so much with this energy for you Pisces so I it could be a really amazing time of creativity that's coming through at this moment and but just to be aware that you're possibly going to be feeling very sensitive to other people other people's needs other people's energies emotions um, just actions even like somebody might walk in a room and you'll instantly kind of might know uh, it, it, the energy will affect you in some way, shape or form, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> so it will have some sort of effect on you. And it, this could be like you could be ultra sensitive as well in a way that it could be uh, somebody that's not even in the same room as you. Maybe it's somebody that's in the same apartment block or somebody that's in the same shop or walking down the street just to be aware there's this kind of ultra sensitivity that's coming in. But we've got King of Crystals, Courage and Commitment. Look at this beautiful tiger coming through. This is the King of Pentacles. So this is all about money, wealth. <laughs> uh, yeah, money. I, I think a lot to do with that. But interestingly, like the spider is... There's something that you're creating in your world at the moment, like this spider energy. It's yours. It's very unique to you, but it might feel delicate at this moment. It might not necessarily feel strong, but it is. And the king of crystals is looking at it going, you know, this beautiful tiger is looking at the spider, probably in admiration, going, I wish I was a spider that could create such a beautiful web, but I'm this big land creature that I do things differently but it's kind of noticing you. It's this sense of somebody's noticing you and they might feel very much different to you or out of your element. Uh, but the, it, it's this sense of connecting to different things, different types of things. So the spider and the tiger are connecting here. They don't normally notice each other or connect in their worlds, but they, there is this sense of being connected to something um, that feels very different to you. Now, um, the king of crystals, like I said, can be money, it can be wealth, it can be uh, successful people, it can be potentially somebody very generous around you who's, who's looking at what it is that you're building and creating and going, I want to invest in that or I admire that in some way, shape or form. So... Again, this could be an admirer doesn't <laughs> uh, that's coming through. But just be open with this energy. I like this energy. It's very, very, I think with this, uh, the energy of Venus in Pisces, it's creating like a connection and oneness that we're kind of connecting to a whole heap of other people that we might not normally be connecting to. This is both good and bad. For you guys, you're going to be ultra sensitive. So if there are things like, you know, somebody walks in the room and you know that they're cruel to animals, even though they're not saying it, you're going to know. You're going to be like, I don't, there's something about that person's energy I don't like. Um, but this King of Pentacles, King of Crystals that's coming in here feels like a good energy. 
It feels like this is a good connection, something you possibly wouldn't normally consider. So just be open to that. And this could be very much connected to success and money, but it doesn't have to necessarily be so. But yeah, fascinating. So I can feel, speaking of feeling little presences, here comes Mr. Star. <laughs> so we're pulling, like speaking of Venus in Pisces, so as you know, Venus is planet rules love and money and creativity, arts, all of this sort of stuff. It's our love language, how we express ourselves with love, how, what we're attracted to, who we're attracted to. So being in your sign is a really, really lovely energy. I think it's going to hopefully bring in more unconditional love, forgiveness, compassion, sense of oneness that comes through. And so I've been getting these very high vibrational stories that have been coming in this week. The cats have really been coming into the readings this week as well. It's super hot here. But uh <laughs> Yeah, and so I've been getting these little uh, sort of fi high vibrational kind of stories, I guess, that are coming in in the readings that uh, they're kind of saying to me, the guides are saying these are not placed in any time or place. It could be something from the past, the present or the future. This may not, this story may not mirror back anything in your life at this moment in time. Perhaps it's something that's wanting, wanting to come in. But um, there's a, they're hoping that there's some kind of a soul resonance or connection that comes through with this story and we will pull out the higher meaning of it at the end. So here we have the five of wands and the devil. Okay, there's a struggle here with being very, very stuck. The knight of pentacles and the six of wands. This is the Leo energy coming through with the six of wands, which is this Leo full moon is really wanting us to kind of look at the areas of our life that we're re wanting to shine, the, the authentic parts of us that are ready to be seen and validated. So let's see what else is coming through. And that's the interesting thing here. You might feel very seen. You being this, the, the tiger is seeing you. It's like, oh, I don't normally feel seen by a tiger, like by I'm a spider, but there's a sense of, yeah, being validated or seen in some way, shape or form this week, which is, I feel like, I want to say the words unusual, like I'm I'm not used to seeing that from this particular direction in my life. We've got the magician and the page of wands. So immediately the words I'm getting for this is breakthroughs. This is a sense of um, an energy of somebody who was very, very stuck in a challenge, a battle, a test, and it, it could have gone to a very dark place with that devil energy. It really, I'm just getting this energy of it like being a black hole that can be sunk into. Somebody is sunk into this, this black hole energy. And it may have been quite a battle and it may have taken, okay, this person that was like, it took a very, very long time to kind of pull this, themselves up and out of it. it took, and so then they became the Knight of Pentacles they became grounded and moving forward slowly, but it was slow moving energy to pull themselves up and out of this hole and to see ahead success, the six of wands, to see something within them being validated that could have this resonance of success, triumph, victory, something feeling successful. And so it's a sense now with the magician energy that it, like something becomes possible. Firstly, it's like becoming consciously aware of what's being validated. And then it's working with the world, the material world around you. How can I make this work into my, how can I integrate this into my life? How can I make this work? How can I, um, yeah, use this new energy? So something is being willed into creation quite literally. It's like this person and they're, they're kind of showing me like it's somebody, a very creative energy even. They're showing me like this is somebody who was like a famous author, say, and they really, or an artist of some sort, somebody associated with the arts and that is well-known. There's this sense of they were well-known, famous or respected in some way, shape or form. But we can see the success outwardly now. You know, they're very famous, well-known, successful but the process of getting there is this sense of they really had to dig deep, go into the shadow world, and they had to come out of that world. And they came out and they put in what is not seen with the, with the sense of being 
validated and seen is all the work that was put in before that. Um, so it's this journey pretty much from coming out of the darkness up into the light, quite literally the deep pit of the hole of the devil up into the sunshine of the Six of Wands and the Magician card. And so this little page of wands finds itself in new territory, new terrain. It's a desert. There hasn't been much growth that's occurred in this area. But now with this new sense of optimism, hope that comes in, new sense of feeling validated and feeling seen, there's an excitement that's building for new things that you're wanting to do here, new things that are coming in, the new growth where once there wasn't. And so it really feels like it's come from this very totally different place and something. there's this huge alchemical shift that can be occurring at this moment in time. So I really feel like it's like understanding the history, that this validation is potentially healing an old wound, an old hole that you fell into somehow that could have, like I said, this dark, dark energy. So it could be healing a deep wound in your life at this moment in time that is opening you up to new and exciting, that now is opening you up. This is sort of like fresh or shift of perspective where it feels like you're working with the elements differently. You're working with things in your life differently, drawing different people, different things, different resources towards you. So the king of crystals and a spider could be, say, getting the money for a creative project or a grant, a launch. It's something like that. There's something that there's some kind of material support around an idea, something that you're creating in this world at this moment in time. So this is bringing in the growth, the page of wands. So it feels really, really exciting. Like it feels like, but it, it's kind of, it feels even better because it's knowing the history of where you came from. And that there potentially was like a real struggle to get to where you are now or you were struggling with something here. The five of wands with the devil, this can be struggling with debt, struggling with a toxic energy, struggling with a narcissistic relationship, struggling with any kind of negative relationship with your body. This can be addiction, somebody with addictions in the, in the past, uh, whether this is you or somebody else. But it's like this person, it, it's like this very energy, energy of staying too long and getting really stuck. Um, and yeah, so it really feels like now with the spider, even though the spider is, you know, it's, it's, it is, it looks like, yeah, it's interesting. It's like you've created, you've rebuilt something, you've created this web that's now glowing and created a structure that you can navigate that darkness that we can see in the background of the spider. And it's rainbow colored. So it's intricate, it's delicate, but it's something that you've made and created yourself. And so it's something very beautiful and unique to you. So ultimately, it's a sense of perhaps what this devil energy was doing was stopping you from connecting you. Like it was a block that was um, um, yeah, blocking you from a certain connections in your life or connecting to certain energies that is now opening up now and ready to heal. There's new uh, connections, people opportunities coming through that is wanting to heal and wanting you to step into and start getting excited so that's your reading I feel like you're the page of wands and going this feels this is what I want to do this feels good for me the wands energy fire energy this is it's doing it's passion it's creativity it's uh yeah setting goals even but it just feels like this feels really exciting and new and good so that's it Pisces that's your reading and to celebrate Venus in being in your sign this week and it's going to be in there and making a beautiful trine to Neptune around Valentine's Day on the 14th um, which is absolutely beautiful energy so to celebrate love in all its forms I and I am offering 14% off for February the 14th um, selected readings, including, including sorry, love readings, general readings, some general readings because I know not everybody's into the whole love thing. 
So if you're interested in making use of this offer, the link for that is in the description box below. It's using coupon code GLGLOVE, and, but that instructions will be on the page. Uh, but if this is where we're leaving each other, Pisces, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.